if this is actually happening, Zach. I know, I know. I keep feeling we're gonna wake up from a dream. Do you want me to pitch you? Yes. Hi. Oh, oh, you said pitch. I'm sorry. Do me. Oh, shit. This is actually happening. Dude, all right, we need to chill out. We can't okay. look like dorks on our first day as out. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, Mr. President! <laughs> See, as do well as these boys here at the con, Mr. President, or else they'll get punched in the dick. <laughs> boys, this is Charity, this is Faith. Girls, this is uh, Zach, and uh, what is it, Christian? Cameron! <gasps> boys, welcome to the 24 hour party machine, man! Woo! Someone get these boys a beer and a hand job, please. <laughs> You're right, man. So happy. I love this place. All right, girls, put your shirts back on. We're going downstairs to the induction ceremony. Not you. You meet me in my room. Yes, Mr. President. <laughs> See, fellas, that right there never gets old. All right, fellas, quit fucking around. We have some cherries to pop and some serious party to do. Wow! Holy shit, did you hear what he just said? Oh my god, we're not even at the serious party yet. It's even better than I imagined. <laughs> the average male graduate makes 125000 per year. Meanwhile, the average female graduate makes 41500 per year. That is 30,056 euro. This is bullshit. Yes, it is bullshit, Misty. And why would these women put up with such inequitable, inexcusable disparity? Somehow, the women of Sterling College got it in their heads that being married to one of these successful men is just as good as being successful themselves, which is a bunch of hooey! Yes. Is the astronaut single? What? <laughs> That's not the point. The point is we all work so hard to get into this college. We're not just here for the parties, the sex, and the landsome rich husband, right? Then what are you doing here, Miss Kramer? It is Miss Kramer, isn't it? Kelly Kramer. Associate Dean Marshall. Yes, I know who I am. So, this is Delta Pi sorority. I had heard you were meeting, even though you don't have a house. I'd say it shows resolve. <laughs> I'd say it shows resolve. It's pathetic! Not only that, it's unfair. Especially when you consider how many houses the fraternities have. Am I right, ladies? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sterling College has always offered more opportunities to its male students. You really think that you and your quote-unquote sorority can overturn 50 years of history? Yes, I do. I was hoping you'd say that. Gentlemen, today, you enter an elite brotherhood established by our founders in 1963. Just as Sterling College is known as the cradle of awesome, Alpha House is known as the place where awesome goes to get its freak on. Now, are you ready to uphold the tradition of this fraternity? If yes, let me hear you say yeah. 
Yeah. yeah! Good. Do you swear to never speak ill of her? Let me hear you say yeah. Yeah! yeah. yeah. To never let her howl halls fall silent, to never let her kegs run empty, and to never, ever let the party die? Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. Good. <laughs> now, suck the guy's dick on your immediate left. Oh, what? Really? No, just messing with you. I just want to see if you really do it. <laughs> I have nobody to my left. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to Outbound. What the, what the hey, fuck? Who turned out the lights? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Kroger. Am I interrupting something? Of course not. Always an honor to be visited by our associate, Dean. I see you are inducting a fresh batch of perverts, drunks, and future felons. <laughs> How fortuitous that I've found you on a very accepting frame of mind. You thinking about pledging? It's really flattering, but unfortunately, we're about at capacity for the year. <laughs> Though, the peace offering with the strippers was not a bad move. I see they went for the naughty bookworm look. Well, you couldn't throw in at least one sexy cop? You see, this is why I'm here. For too long, Alpha House has been a bastion for sex drugs. <laughs> stop it, stop, stop it! It's not a good thing! It's everything that's wrong with Sterling College! But we are going to transform it into a shining example of everything that Sterling College has to offer. Opportunity, diversity, equality. Yeah, can you get to the point? I'm sobering up over here. <laughs> Gentlemen. Meet your new brothers. Hello, boys. As of tonight, I am making Alpha House officially co-ed. No, you can't. I can. And I did. Dean Bungle would never approve of this. <laughs> I doubt Dean Bungle would give approval to such a dramatic change to his old fraternity. <laughs> but luckily, fraternity matters fall under the purview of the associate dean which is me. This is bullshit! <laughs> What's your name, Potty Mouth? Cameron. Is there something on your feeble mind, Cameron? You can't just change a frat like this. This isn't fair. And having a sorority without a house is. <laughs> Excellent return, Renee. It's not fair to the girls. It's still a frat. You can bring a bunch of girls in here, but they're gonna have to live with a bunch of guys. Yeah. Is it fair to make them live in that kind of environment? Mm. Hmm. Excellent point, Cameron's friend. Zach. Don't care. With Alpha House being co-ed, it is governed by state and federal laws which forbid anyone from making a member of the opposite sex feel harassed, disenfranchised, or otherwise uncomfortable. It means you horn dogs will dial down the debauchery significantly. How significantly? This place is going to make the Mormon tabernacle look like Mardi Gras. Everybody will be on their best behavior, or else you're out. Out of Alpha House? Out of Alpha House. Out of Sterling College. Poop out of luck! Ladies, why don't you go make yourselves at home? Girls? Can someone please find some air freshener? This is a disaster. I'm out of here. Well, where are you going? Sorry, dudes. I was only ever in the stupid frat for the booze and the coos. Dude, what about brotherhood? What about never letting the party die? Dude, look around. The party's dead. I should be elbows deep in co-ed trim right now, instead of watching these Delta Pi lesbos turn our front door into a chastity belt. Adios, losers. Oh. Oh, no. Enjoy your castration. Oh, come on, seriously, guy. Wait, what? Bye-bye. Oh. Well, looks like you're the de facto president, Potty Mouth. Congrats. All right, listen up. 
This is how it's going to work. You two are going to divide up the house equally. I'm putting this on both your shoulders. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Good. So this is how it's gonna work. You guys are gonna get the rooms in the back, and we'll get the rooms in the front. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking to the uh, acting Alpha House president here, okay? If anybody decides who gets what rooms, it's me. Mm. Okay, so what do you suggest? Girls in the front, guys in the back. And you can share your room with me. I'll pass. How many bathrooms are in this hellhole? Two upstairs, one down here. We each get one upstairs, the one downstairs is for guests, and the living room and the kitchen are common areas. Does that work for you? Yes. Make it so. Right. <laughs> Who's that? Oh my God. I am not sure, but I think she wants to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, sweetie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Melanie? Zach. Oh my God. What are you doing here? I just transferred. I was over at State last semester. Well, hello there, Melanie. Cameron. Mm. Wow. Didn't miss that. Melanie, upstairs now. We're having a meeting. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you uh, around the house then? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> This place is repulsive. Is that a used condom? Ladies, please. I know these aren't the best of arrangements. And no matter what those cavemen downstairs think, this place is just as much ours as it is theirs. The road is gonna be rough. It's gonna be dirty. And occasionally we'll have a used condom in it. But we can do this. Sisters on three. One, two, three. This is bullshit, all right? We can't have chicks living here. Yeah, I totally agree. You know that brunette? Though I'd love to get her a Canadian swirl and a Ford Bronco on four flat tires. Dude, what? Makes zero sense, dude. Look, guys, this is our house. Those girls are invaders in our territory. Cameron and I, We've wanted to be Alphas for as long as I can remember, and I'm not throwing that dream down the shitter because of some chicks. Yeah, me too, dude, but my dream did not include a pussy embargo. You guys are missing the bigger picture here. Did you see the talent that just walked into this house? At this moment, the rooms directly above our heads are being stocked with some pretty decent great inventory. This house is basically just a Costco full of vag, right? And if we play our cards right, we might be getting some free samples. Besides, how bad can it be living with girls? Yeah. What's going on? They're cleaning. Nice work, ladies. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Just because you're comfortable living like pigs doesn't mean we have to be. room.
I can get used to the view though. Yo, I definitely get both of them a cherry twist. Just... Right. You know, these paint fumes are making me kind of dizzy. Oh, yeah, me too. You want to get out of here? Definitely. <laughs> OK. Jersey Shore douchebags. I'm taking this to Marshall. Whoa, whoa, okay, pause right there, all right? Nobody has to take anything to Dean Marshall. How about you promise to stay in your part of the house and we'll promise to stay in ours. Yeah, but, but we get the basement, okay? You guys got to go all fucking Martha Stewart on the rest of the house. We get one place that's just ours, just like we like it. Deal? If I catch you looking at me again, I'm turning your balls into a keychain. Is that a promise? Ah! Ooh. Ooh. I love her. I love her. Dude, I, what? <laughs> You're taking this place over. Then what the fuck are we doing about it? Because I am one ass hair away from leaving. We do what we do best. And that would be? We be guys. We do everything we can to run the Deltas out of this place and back into the lecture hall they came from, and then we take Alpha House back for ourselves. What about Marshall's big plan? What's he gonna do about it if they leave voluntarily? But what about the bitch you want? Leave her to me. <laughs> you boys ready for this? Oh yeah, good. We started sunup. <laughs> As acting president of Alpha House, it is my responsibility, strike that, my pleasure to ensure that you have the proper induction in this most honorable institution. Being an Alpha is a goddamn privilege. It's a goddamn, goddamn privilege. privilege. Yeah. And like any privilege, it's earned through hard work. Isn't that right, gentlemen? Hoorah! Give me a break. New recruits will ask for permission before speaking to the president. Speak to this. What is your name, recruit? Kelly Kramer. Mm. Do you have a middle name? Fuck off. Oh, pretty. People call you K2? Nobody calls Here's me Here's the K2. deal, K2. Just as generations of alphas before you 
you and your little fembots here are going to have to endure some minor inconveniences to demonstrate you are worthy for a spot in this house. If any of you can't handle it, you are welcome to leave. Bring it, shit weasel. Play your little games, get that frat bullshit out of your system, but guess what? We're still gonna be here. Are we done? You are dismissed. Whatever. Girls. That didn't go as planned. No, it did not. They have to leave! Oh, they will. I have a plan. Excuse me, lady. Hey! I'm so sorry. Dude, we good? You, you're watching that. <laughs> We're watching this now. Oh, God. And this is how they pay for college. Oh. All right, K2, you got the choice between every hole filled with cock, Brazilian whores in Vegas, looks like that won an award, or white men can hop. Oh, sorry. Don't have a TV in my room. Oh, no problem. Boys! Good to go, boss. Good, thank you. All right. White men can up it is. <laughs> All right, let's get those titties bouncing. <laughs> nice. Home movies? Uh, sorry. It's, it's part of, you know. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, I might even learn a thing or two. I, uh, gotta go. This is not why I joined your stupid sorority. Change is never easy, Renee. But we're not about to let some smutty videos break us. We will persevere. Hello, ladies. Have we got a treat for you. Hand out the shirts. What is this? Oh, well, we thought that the house could use a little more solidarity. So what each and every one of you is going to do is think of the sluttiest thing you've ever done on a first date, write it on the shirt, and wear it to dinner. No, what? No. Why not? Okay. Come on. We're doing it too. See? Okay. Solidarity. Besides, president's orders. Right, Cam? Fuck you, Dad. See you all at dinner. I'm not doing this. Yes, you are. We all are. Think of all the women who have stood up for what they believe is right. Elizabeth Blackwell. Susan B. Anthony. Snucky! <laughs> If those women could endure all they had to go through, surely we can endure this. Right, ladies? All of you, start writing. And be truthful. <laughs> we wouldn't want to compromise our integrity. Jessica. I said be truthful. I made these for you. <laughs> Working. All right, titty cam number one. It's ready for its broadcast day. <laughs> Sweet. Let's roll. Yeah. Already careful. Careful. And you like the way I fill my jeans and you you like the way my gold tooth gleams I get a sense of your attraction But you might want to stay. Hey.
no, 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 no. Hold, hold it. Another one. Jackpot. I so don't want to go to psych class today. Hey, how was history yesterday? Fuck the feminist movement. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> they make the Disney princesses seem like they're bad. <laughs> I mean, hello. They get everything they wanted. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Big <laughs> foot! Hey, did you see that? Zach, Zach, you gotta check out this footage. It's totally epic. Uh, maybe later, guys. Titties. <laughs> hey there. Spot, can I get some? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Studying, huh? Trying to. Just like old times. You remember our first date? Seventh grade, after school, you asked me to meet you. In the library. Right. You said you wanted me to help you with your history assignment, but I seem to remember what you really wanted was to feel my boobs. Under their sweater, over the bra, if I remember correctly. Oh, you remember. <laughs> so what are you studying now? Oh. History. Mm, you don't say. Let you get to it. I think you mean president, asshole. I'm taking this to the dean. Y'all would love to get her an Alabama hot pocket. I have no idea what that means. I'll tell you about it later. Uh, uh, stop, man. Uh, stop. Uh, <laughs> you're serious. Well, now you're just flirting with me academically, aren't you? <laughs> no, seriously. Th those, those are impressive numbers. <laughs> I'm on the phone! I'm going to lunch. Be back by one. By three. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I look forward to speaking about Virgin Mary much more as well. Yes, yes, Alpha House Project is moving forward. Uh, students are getting along. No, 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 no complaints. And uh, if there are, there's always provision 13. <laughs> Listen, if we have to use it, we most definitely will. Listen up, ladies. The game has changed. Before you know it, we're going to have this house all to ourselves. How? Like this. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh what we have to do to take this house. Saddle up, girls. It's time to blow some minds. <laughs> Hey, what's up, K2? Um, I just really wanted to apologize for the way I've been acting lately. Really? Yeah, you know, I know it must be weird being forced to live with a bunch of women. It's a lot to take in all at once. Yeah, it's cool. We've been having fun. Yeah, totally. Us too. Anyways, the girls and I wanted to offer you a kind of peace offering. Oh, a peace offering? Yeah, <laughs> you know, for all the trouble we've caused you, it's the least we can do. So, dinner tonight at the house on us? Sure, sounds good. <laughs> Perfect, I'll see you then. And remember to dress nice. We've got something really special planned. All right. See ya. Okay, bye.
Good evening, gentlemen. We, your Alpha Sisters, would like to thank you for welcoming us so warmly into your home. As a token of our gratitude, we prepared a very special meal for you tonight. One I think you'll remember for a long time. Please, take a seat. Enjoy your dinner, boys. I don't know about y'all, fellas, but I am famished. Time for stage two. Yes. Associate Dean Marshall, please. Don't you like what you see? Everything looks delicious. And help yourself. Any wasabi? He's choking. Uh, oh my god! Oh, does anybody know the Heimlich? Oh, everybody relax. I'm a lifeguard. Oh, 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 careful! Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look at my face, asshole! What is going on? Oh. Disappointed, but doesn't quite cover it. Oh, a gas. Crestfalling. Disgrace. Irate. Disrespect. Melancholy. Pissed off. Oh, oh. I think that's it. That's a good one. Because of your antics and heinous treatment of sushi, I've been forced to expel members of your fraternity for indecency and fraternization. And I particularly expected more from you, Miss Kramer. Me too. Shut up, potty mouth. I'm so sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Good. Because I will not hesitate to put each and every one of you out on the street if you cannot follow the rules. That is all. Baker's gone. No. So what? Are you done? We're just getting started. We dial it up a notch. We just can't get caught in the process. One man eliminated, but now we've lost two of our own. That was sloppy. From now on, we play smarter. We play harder. We can't afford to have any more casualties. Buddy, you sure it's gonna work? Dude, 
please. I switched to do these this morning. <laughs> well, this is going to be educational. Good afternoon. My presentation is on Pompeii. In 79 AD, the Italian city of Pompeii was destroyed by the sudden and devastating eruption of Mount Vesuvius. For centuries before its ruin, however, Pompeii was a thriving metropolis, a place of wealth and abundance. In fact, its citizens produced works of art, dance, and music still admired today. You don't say. <laughs> Thanks. Little did the people know the dangers lurking in the peaks and mountains nearby. <laughs> I think you guys had something to do with her presentation uh, earlier. I assure you we had nothing to do with the destruction of Pompeii. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry that Edgar got kicked out last night. Yeah. Same about Jessica and Katie. Who would have thought that Associate Dean Douchebag was actually a man of his word? Still not sure why he showed up at that exact moment, though. Just bad luck, I guess. Hey, do you remember that night in high school when we were in Johnny Peterson's basement and you threw up all over his coffee table? Oh, yes. I told his mom I was sick with the flu. Did not have the heart to tell her that we got into his dad's liquor. Yeah, I drank you under the table that night. What? I'm just saying, you are kind of a lightweight. Oh, really? Really. Really? Really? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sip or Strip. The rules are simple. You flip this coin and call it in the air. Get it right, you take a shot. Get it wrong, you remove an article of clothing and take a shot. <laughs> okay. If you pass out or end up naked, you're out. The last man. Uh or woman standing wins the game. There are no prizes. This is simply a challenge to determine the better sex. Are you ready? Yeah! I said, are you fucking ready? Yeah! 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 Good. Let the games begin.
Then let's finish this. Heads. very drunk right now. what I said would happen when one of your boys crossed the line. What? Nobody... I found them with a few of my girls in their rooms. Huh. Sounds pretty consensual to me. No. It sounds like you conspired to get them drunk so you could take advantage of them. Oh, horseshit. You were there. I suggest you boys begin adhering to the rules. Otherwise, you'll all be looking for a new home. Kelly's gonna wipe us out if we don't get some help. I think I know just the person. Yo, who is that? That, my boys, is my cousin Natalie. She's our inside man. Cameron, boys, I heard you need some help. Yeah, you have no idea. Fucking tongue back in your face, dude. Come on, baby. What about that? Busy, Stephanie! He's busy. I don't give a rat's ass. Marshall, what the devil are you up to? Dean Bungalon. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Alpha House? You're trying to launch some kind of co-ed program? Yes, yes, the uh, first of its kind in the state, in fact. <laughs> Very progressive, and certainly within my remit as associate dean. But I hear that it has resulted in the ejection of some students from the fraternity. Yes, it's uh, unfortunate, but necessary. My ass. I cannot for the life of me figure out why you would think it's a good idea to put a bunch of sexed up young adults under one roof. What did you think was going to the happen? The benefits of the program far outweigh the risks. Uh, making the Greek system co-ed fosters uh, unity between the genders and offers for a more cohesive uh, living situation. But no fraternization with the opposite sex? You're suppressing their natural urges. Hell, when I was an alpha... Yes, we... yes, we all know about the old days when you went Greek, sir. 
The point is, students come to Sterling College to learn and to have fun, not to be put into some social experiment. I appreciate your concern, sir. I don't know what your end game is, Marshal, but if I get a call that says that this little plan of yours went tits up, it's your ass, not mine. Tits up my ass. Got it. Will there be anything else, sir? No. Carry on with, um, whatever it is you do in here. Ladies, this is Natalie. She just transferred to Sterling. So please make her feel at home. Hi, Natalie. Hey. I'm Emily. I'm Allison. Hi. <laughs> Here comes a modern man, perfect hair and spray on tan calf links, bridling. He's better realizing bottom rungs like you or I sanctify. Any progress with Kelly? No progress there. That girl is wrapped tighter than a condom on Peter North's dick. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep trying to break that hymen, okay? If you see any opportunity to take some leverage, take it. Roger that. I love you, cousin. <sighs> I need you to do some research for me. I think we have a double agent in our miss. Find out everything you can about that new girl, Natalie. I'm on it. Time to turn up the heat. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not, not, not in here. This is our basement. Okay, this is our territory. Haven't you ever heard of burlesque or size? Okay, but... Like like five minutes. Keep you true on the quest. To lose you will be a mess. So I'm playing for the best, and I guess we gotta do something right. Better do it tonight, otherwise our love will be shining bright. We keep it our vibe tight. You shine like a neon light. Just tell me what we're doing tonight.
We should all just leave the house, okay? We're dropping like flies. Yo, I wish I could get Allison to drop her pants. Yo, I bet her cool is like fine China. Dude, now you're just being creepy. Guys, we can do this. And we're alphas, for Christ's sake. All right, we'll wear them down. You'll see. Okay? We're not going to make it. Not with you girls walking around the house flaunting our goods. Flaunting our goods? We're not built to defend against this. It's it's like you're actually trying to get us tossed out. All I ever wanted was to be an alpha. Wanting my goods. I need to tell you something. You're right about us. Kelly is trying to take over Alpha House and turn it into a sorority. What? How? It's something called Provision 13. It states that if the ratio of either gender falls below 40%, the gender that has the majority has control. That's why you guys have been getting kicked out so that we have the majority. We've been playing you the entire time. I'm sorry. Oh, you asshole! You crossed enemy lines? I can't believe you're fucking her! It's Melanie! Of all of them! It was just once! Oh. And a half. Mm. Okay, look, I am sorry that I punched you, but you fucking deserved it, you know that? I know. Shit! Shit! So what do we do now, huh, big guy? I have an idea.
All right, sneak into Dean Marshall's office. We find whatever we can about the Division 13 bullshit and we use it against the girls. Okay, go, shit! Go. Security! Go, go, go! Why are you doing this? Go. Quick in, quick out. Like your mom. Dick. Okay. Oh, no. You finding anything? Ah, uh, no. Dude, 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 check it out. What? <laughs> Got it. All right, now let's rub our balls all over his office. Dips on his phone. Okay. such a freak when we did it in Marshall's office. Enjoy it while it's your baby. Oh, Marshall's got his eye on a dean position at Virgin Mary College. Prestigious, expensive, oh. and all girls. Why do you think he came up with that freak idea? To co-ed all the fraternities. He had to show his commitment to women's issues in order to seal the deal. Marshall's such a fucking freak. He only wants that job so that he could flirt with college girls. Flip. Gentlemen, we are not going to sit idly by and watch our beloved fraternity be stolen from beneath our feet. From this night forward, we do everything in our powers to stop the advancement of Kelly and the muggy dick lover we know as Associate Dean Douchebag. How? Well, uh, uh, enough with the drawings, just tell them the plan. Well, first, we vow not to touch the poon. So keep it in your pants. Then, we beat those lying, disingenuous, fraudulent, mendacious, perfidious whores at their own game. Who's with us? Donated to the charity of every fraternity and sorority's choice. Hmm. Yeah, not exactly the turnout I was expecting, but it's not pretty shitty. Oh, yeah, it's actually, pretty shitty. yeah. <laughs> the uh, girls seem to be doing pretty well. Suspiciously well. Come get your kisses. Dude, give me ten dollars. Dude, stop it. Right? Hey everyone. Ooh, look. Give money to charity day. Oh, are you gonna squirt me with your big gun? That'll be seventy-five dollars. Thanks. <laughs> you think you can score? <laughs> Dude, we are in trouble, man. Big trouble. Zach! Uh, Zach? Zach who? Oh, come on, Cameron. Oh, Zach! He's not here. Did you see him? Really? You're that pissed at me? Uh, he says that you liked him and that he was bad at the sex. Oh. What did you expect me to do? I'm trying to fit in, be a part of the group, just like you. You would have done the same thing. Probably already have. He says he has nothing else to say to you. Well, I have nothing else to say to him either. Dude, she is cute. We need to figure something out. Dude, we need to figure decent this. body, too. We need to get serious. Hey, I have a question. If you're ever like, done with her, do you think I could, like, sleep? Cam! You like her! Shut up. You like smelling me! I fucking knew it! <laughs> hey, guys! Zach likes Melanie. Oh, okay, you get one more of those, and I swear to Christ, I'm gonna punch you right in the gooch. What you got? Almost finished. Check it out. Nice. And the website? Ready to roll. 
five bucks a day keeps the blue balls away. <laughs> Make it ten. We're getting creamed out there. Mm. Ten it is. Come back time. I know that Kelly isn't in this whole empowerment thing, but I kind of just want to rage and get some dick, you know? I mean, that's oh, what I call supposed to be all about, right? I totally agree. Hey, Renee, can you move to the right a bit? Why? I wanted to get a better look at your bra. It's really nice. You think so? Yeah, can I see it? Yeah. I finally splurged and got myself some new ones. Hey, guys. Oh, perfecto. It is nice. Mm hmm. I love your cousin. <laughs> Touch her and I'll kill you, man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Nice job, boys. We have a problem. Camera seven is off line. Which one is that? It's the one in K2's room. Oh, shit. You think she found it? I don't know. If she did, she'd be in here cutting our dicks off, right? Wouldn't she? Oh, fuck. Dude, so how much have we made so far? Twelve thousand dollars. What? Yeah, and that's just the first day, dude. I'm telling you, Zach, if we keep going like this, we're gonna be able to buy our own fraternity. Hey, <laughs> February! Dude, that's like the third time that's happened to me today. What? Called you February? Yeah, weird, right? Yeah. Hello, boys. Ladies, would you like your copy's autograph? <laughs> 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 Ladies, it's me to go around. Um, <laughs> now, exactly what am I autographing? This. Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, what happened to my dick? I know, I'm so sorry. This is not what I look like, this is not what I look like. I have a friend who's really good at photo editing. Give me that. <laughs> Mine's crooked! Actually, it's a perfect right angle. My, my dick does not look like this! Dude, calm down. No, no, I will not calm down. I need the world to know that I do not have a goddamn 90 degree penis! In fact, <laughs> I am gonna show everybody. Dude, keep your pants on. Nope, keep I'm your gonna pants prove on. it right now to this everybody. This is not over. Not yet. Come on. No, I wanna show them. No. Kelly, what's wrong? I've got that research you asked for, Natalie. Cousins? Kelly says she wants the party. Mm -hmm. Shit, we've been set up. Come on, we have to get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing in my room? With drugs and fetish wear. I told you they were out of control. <laughs> well, Dean Bungalon, I think you'll agree there really is no choice here. I agree. Gentlemen, madame, you're out. <sighs> Dude. Well, that's it then. Without these two, the guys have less than 40%. And even without Miss Lady Payne here, we've still got the majority. Alpha House is ours! <laughs> you know, it didn't have to be this way. We could have changed Sterling College for the better. We could have found a way to live together as equals. But instead, you had to sow the seeds of discontent. And you know what happened? You raped the fucking whirlwind! That's what happened! Oh. You're sexy when you're megalomaniacal. 
Laugh it up, Frodo. But tonight, I'll be sleeping in my nice, warm bed. In this very house. Where will you be sleeping? Oh, well, it's Tuesday, so that would be with your mom. <laughs> oh! Later, losers. Come on, ladies, let's go. I'm really sorry, boys. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah, yeah, me too. But um, unfortunately, my hands are tied. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, guys. I brought all the paperwork to officially turn Alpha House into the Delta Pi sorority. All you have to do is sign right here. Is there something wrong? I'm afraid we are going in a different direction. You see, the co-ed fraternity project was meant to showcase how Sterling College fosters productive interaction between the genders. I'm sure you'll agree it was an unmitigated disaster. I don't understand. What about Provision 13? Give you the fraternity. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why don't I also open up a brothel? What you girls did? Oh, I don't think so. I did what you told me to do. Hmm? Can you prove that? Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. You have 24 hours to vacate Alpha House. That is all. We need to talk. Alpha's no longer a fraternity. Yeah, no shit. You made sure of that, Corella DeVille. We were just following Marshall's orders. He told me he wanted to show how he was this big supporter of female empowerment by turning the most sexist fraternity on campus into a sorority. But in the end, he just wanted to shut it down. And he used us to do it. Wait, shut it down? Completely. Abandoned. Boarded up. We're just as homeless as you are now. I know that I don't deserve this. That we don't deserve this after what we did, but we can't just sit back and watch Alpha House disappear. What, we, we? Yes, we. That dick we needs to get what's coming to him. Nobody crosses Kelly Dorothy Kramer. <laughs> I'm Dorothy. <laughs> Shut up! Now are you gonna help us get Alpha House back or what? Mm, I don't know. You did already break our trust once. Please. We'll do anything. Anything? <laughs> Looking good, ladies. We're in. Admin building, 2 p.m. And don't feel the need to change on account of us, okay? I'm sorry, but there's absolutely nothing I can do to overturn Associate Dean Marshall's decision. What about the Alpha Creed? Yeah, once an Alpha, always an Alpha. I really wish I could help you. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate your time. Of course, if Marshall was to lose his position with the administration, all of his policies would be reviewed. Well, wait a minute, are you saying that if we get Dean Marshall kicked out of the college that we might be able to get Alpha House back? Well, the reason for his dismissal would have to be something pretty effing dishonorable. Something so scandalous that the college would disown all of his decisions just to distance itself from him. Dishonorable. Scandalous. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. Of course, this conversation never happened. Of course. Thank you, Dean. Once an alpha, always an alpha. Cameron, you take a team into Marshall's office. Place cameras here, here, and here. Roger that. Once you're in, be fast. In and out. But make sure the cameras are invisible, undetectable. We need full coverage. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. 
go, 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 go. Come on, let's go. Whatever he does in that office, we need to see it. What do you think we'll find? I don't know, but based on what his assistant said, probably some freaky ass shit. <laughs> Did he just ask to get fucked in the ass by a chick wearing a squirrel costume? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, I just kicked in my mouth a little. What are we gonna do with all this intel after we gather it? We bait the trap. <laughs> Morning, Stephanie. Nice to see you working. What is this? <laughs> Oh, 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 my. I'm uh, going to lunch. Anyone here? Um, Miss Furry Double Stuff? Hold on. Just make yourself at home. Wow. I, uh, I knew you had a lot of stuff, but, um, oh. So disgusting. <laughs> I think you mean this is so awesome. <laughs> Isn't this what you wanted, Mr. Rosenbush? Oh, sweet Mary Jesus weeps. Um, please, uh, <clears throat> Call me Tiger. His porn name is Tiger Rosenbush. <laughs> That's better than mine. Loki McKinley. Mm. CK2, what you do? I you know how it works. And no, I'm not gonna tell you my name. Okay. Tiger. <sighs> oh. Take your pants off. Yeah. Right away, Miss Dolosta. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Almost there. Boxer briefs. Oh, uh, I can never make up my mind. Lose them. Where is it? That's it, isn't it? No, 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 that's a smudge. Oh! Mama Squirrel loves nuts. Oh, you do. Bark like a dog. What? Bark. Ruff! Ruff! Louder. Ruff! Yeah, like a pussy cat. Meow, 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 meow. And what does the cow say? The cow says moo. Oh, the cow says moo! You ready, Tiger? It's great! <laughs> oh my god. Is she going to. Yes, she is! <laughs> I am honored to be speaking in front of you today. I am particularly grateful to Provost Elias and the other uh, Virgin Mary administrators for making time in the very busy schedules to be here today. Thank you. Throughout my tenure at Sterling College, I'm most proud of how I fought for equal gender rights. Although I did not achieve the level of success I had hoped with my most recent project, the rehabilitation of Sterling College's most notorious and disrespected fraternity. I swear to you 
on my nanny's graves. I will continue the gender fight until I have serviced the needs of every female student. That is, it is so in that spirit gross. That I proffer my resignation as associate dean of Sterling College. You guys ready? And accept the position of dean of Virgin Mary University. Drop it. Like it's hot. Roll it. Provost Elliot, I so look forward to bringing my personal stock into Virgin Mary, as well as inserting my rigid ethics into the lives of your most uh, Same, right? yeah, wonderful That's students. It. Now, ah, uh, time for questions and talk. What is? I'm sorry. Uh, hello. No, no, this is that is not me. That's, that is that is, it's Photoshop, people. Can we turn this off, please? Please, somebody tell me. Which one does it? Which no, wait, no, please don't hear it. Please. It's not me. Say Marshall. I don't understand that we thought you were. There's no place for you at Virgin Mary College after all. Furry freak. Wait a minute, you can't. Tiger Rosenbush? I did. Hey, can I get a copy of that? Great job. Enter an elite brotherhood and sisterhood. Are we ready to uphold the traditions of this fraternity? I mean, fraterna sorority. <laughs> if you are, let me hear you say yeah. Yeah! And do we pledge, no matter what, to never let her hollowed halls fall silent, to never let the kegs go dry, and to never, ever, let the party die. If you're with me, let me hear you say, fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Welcome back to the 24-hour party machine! Putting my clothes back on. I have to say, when I told you guys to find some dirt, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> well, sir, it was a full team effort. Without everybody involved, never would have happened. I have some fond memories of this place. <laughs> Throwing back brews. Bang and tang. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, I was the alpha male. Three years running. Sometimes wish I could come back. Sir, you're always welcome back. Once an alpha, always an alpha. I may just take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, get over here. Tracy is showing us what she learned in Mexico while standing, dude. Come on. What Excuse us. Okay. Have a great party. Thank you, sir. You know, I was thinking. Were you? Yeah, I was thinking we could, uh, you know, again, unless, you know, you're still mad at me. Let's go. Okay. Woo! Two girls. Don't slam the door in my face. Why shouldn't I? Uh, because I <laughs> brought you these. You want to come in? Sure. So, what do you want? Uh, I just... I know you don't like me very much, but since we're officially now roommates... Housemates. Uh, right. Uh, I figured that we should start fresh. K2, look, I, I know I can be a bit of an asshole, but... Cameron. I, 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 I think that if you got to know me a little more, that we might be Cameron. able to... Yeah. Turn around. Bangarang. 
You're an asshole. President asshole. But I don't hate you. Oh, apparently not. Sadie Saltair. Uh, what? My porn name. And that's what I want you to call me for the rest of the night. Sadie Saltair. Uh, anything you say, Miss Saltair. Hey, little squirrel. You want a nut, little guy? Dude, not cool. You scared him. You want a nut? Hmm? You want a nut? You patchouli drenched Birkenstock piece of poop! I'll get your nut. Oh, hey, here's a nut. Have a nut! Whoa, whoa. Huh? Would you like another nut? Here's it. Here's another nut. Here, what the take fuck? it. What's wrong? Don't you like my nuts? Here, you can't handle my nuts. Take my nuts. Where's the fucking squirrel? Ah! Get over here. God damn you, little fucker. Get here. I see you. You can't hide. I want that. I want. Yeah. <laughs>